Hi friends. <laughs> I am at Ashley's school. Just dropped her off. We've had a rough morning. We had a rough night last night without going into terrible details because she doesn't like me really talking about it. I will talk to you about it from the parent side. It is so hard to, I think she's having a rough time after this whole pandemic, this two year phase of not getting to have a lot of choices. And as a seven year old and an eight year old and now a nine year old, that's hard. Those are pivotal ages to learn how to make choice, right? Like as I'm kind of reevaluating these last two years and what it, a toll it's taken on her and it's taken a toll on my other kids in different ways. And we've gotten other kids help. Sorry, I keep biting my tongue. I've gotten my other kids help and, you know, trying to like work through all this kind of stuff. But but right now for her, for Ashley, it's choices. And when you go two years without getting to make normal kid choices, like being able to play with friends, being able to go to school, playing at the park, you know, like normal things. If you go two years of a seven year life of not being able to make choices, man, it's taking a drastic toll on her. And I know that it's taking a drastic toll on so many kids. And that's why school is so difficult. That's why teachers are having a hard time. That's why administrators are having a hard time because it's just taken such a toll on these kids. And it, you know, it, it, it didn't surface for quite a long time. It's just hard. It's hard for these kids to learn how to make choices that they don't like going to school. Like she doesn't get a choice on going to school, but before she did, before I don't have to go to school. I can sit at home in my pajamas and do virtual school. So she thinks, oh, I did get a choice. I didn't have to go to school. <laughs> It's like, no, you did have to go to school. You just did it from home. And it's just backwards in their head and they're not old enough and mature enough and have enough knowledge to understand all of that. And just, it's so hard on these kids. Like, I don't know. And it's just exhausting as a parent to still have to parent and still have to say, I still have to make choices myself. You know, I still have to say, yes, you have to go to school. Yes, you still need to eat. Yes, you still need to do your chores. It's tough as a parent to still have to, you know, make those hard choices for her as well. When so much of her life, she didn't have to make those choices. And, you know, I think we all ate what we wanted during quarantine, right? Like we talked with our friends last night and we were like, oh, we're all paying the consequence of what we ate during quarantine. And uh, we're all like, I have a friend who just went to Mexico and had lap band surgery done because she's like, quarantine was, it undid all the hard work that I did to lose 50 pounds. And she doesn't want to do the hard work again. Oh, someone's calling me. Hang on. All right, I'm down at the trail. It's interesting because there's a bunch of kids from the high school, including one of Abby's friends who's not at school. It's not recess, they're in high school. It is not lunchtime. They probably just went over to the dollar store, but there's no break time right now. It's not even like 9.30 in the morning. I'm just wondering, anyway, interesting. Okay, now they're gone, I can bring my camera out. We're gonna go for a walk. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Night away. But it doesn't matter
no one else can see us. So let us dance this night away. High schoolers, here they come. Hang on, I'm out of the path of the high schoolers. <laughs> One kid, the first kid that came upon me, scared the crap out of me. I mean, he was like right here behind me, and then he suddenly was like, Right, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm scared, and I was like, You scared the crap out of me. And he's like, I'm so sorry. Anyway, luckily, they're going back to the high school that way. Battery slashing, you guys, I'm not even. I think I'm almost 100%. Let me look at it really quick. And I'm not even back to my car. Yeah, I'm 97%. I still have a quarter mile, or even a half mile to my car. I did really good today. You can do good too. Let this motivate you. Let's go back to the car. Okay, I've been sitting in my car for about an hour. <laughs> I've been talking to um, my sister, um, as she's preparing to marry and combine two families, two different parenting styles, it's hard. But also today is the actual day that my mom passed away a year ago. Memorial Day is such a recognizable anniversary for us because that's the day that it actually happened last year. Um, and so we're all kind of like, should we feel something today versus what we felt yesterday? And I'm, Anyway, I have another call in to my twin sister, um, but she's in school meetings as they end, end their school year. Um, but we, we all have these like weird, you know, what should we feel today, the actual anniversary. And today I just felt like I needed to go for a walk and enjoy being outside and do something that my mom would be happy that I did. And so I've just been sitting here, my car is all hot now, but I have gotten a list in my head for what we need here at Costco, and I've asked Abby what she would like me to have, because apparently we don't have any food in the house. You know, said the teenager. So let's go to Costco. And then he said, I wrote you a love song, and I tried to make it beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart, and how nobody can steal me away. Yeah, I am your oars. Cause I want you and All I right. wanted you to know. So, Costco is done. They did not have the cutie oranges that Abby wanted, so I had to get the large ones. And I say that because the large oranges are very tempting for me. I used to have an orange with the cottage cheese and a sandwich all the time and oranges especially those large ones the navel oranges are so full of sugar so i can't have them and um hot it is warm today it is finally feeling like summer which is fantastic anywho while i was in costco um jason called me and he said his car is getting fixed today his dad had to take him to work and his dad will have to pick him up but his car is getting looked at because we thought that the transmission was going out. Um, he kind of felt like he heard a noise or felt like something was wrong. And so it has been at the mechanics today and he called me and said, Look, good news, it's not the, um, what do you call it, transmission. I'm waiting to get out of this parking lot and it's very full. So we're gonna, we're gonna just hold the phone for a second. So it's not the transmission, the guy with the carts. I have to wait for the guy with the carts. <laughs> it is the lug, there's these lug nuts on the tires. I'm just gonna go this way. That he's replaced two of them, one or two of them before. And it's on his car, it's just like a weird snafu and they've gotten stripped. And so when he had a tire replaced last, they had to, he had to buy these specialty lug nuts or something to put on the tire. Um, but the other ones didn't need to get changed and so now they're saying that that's what's wrong and that they need to do that But they don't have the lug nuts and luckily Jason bought four of them <laughs> so They're at home And so I have to run home and grab them and get them over to the mechanic so the mechanic can put them on 
and it's not even like I don't even know if Jason would ever be able to like change his own tire because these lug nuts are not normal and I don't know why but I need to turn on the AC I'm so hot um, so I've got to run home and do that and then I'll be able to unload my Costco groceries but I was like I'm only halfway done at Costco and he was like you gotta hurry you gotta get these lug nuts done I don't even think the mechanic can fix the car or finish the car today um, so his dad is gonna have to take him again tomorrow but I don't know just and he I'll just say this he was like well you don't need your car tomorrow I'm just gonna take your car there's nothing on the calendar okay dude and I told him this last night so it's fair game for me to tell you guys this um, I don't put on the calendar that I'm going to Costco, that I'm going on a walk, that I need to stop at the middle school to pick up my cup from my friend because I left it at her house last night. I don't put on the calendar that I have to pick up lug nuts for the mechanic. Like there's so much of my day that I don't actually put on the calendar for you to see, but it doesn't mean that I don't need my car. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm not just sitting at home like a bumpkin. I've got to get stuff done. All right, I have the lug nuts. Let's take these back to the mechanic. All right, it's been hours. <laughs> I came home and got talking to my sister again, and then my aunt, and that was a very long call. It's my mom's sister, and since today is the actual anniversary, she just had a lot of emotions, and we had a lot of conversations that we needed to have, and things that we want to change and do in the future with our family, and it was a great conversation that I had with her. It was just an hour and a half long, <laughs> and I have been editing um, yesterday's video ever since. So, Ashley has some fun news. So Ashley finally got paid for her some of her scans. Is it this is two of them. This is only two of them. One of them from April, one of them for the first of May. So she just got paid. You want to tell them how much she got paid? $125. $125. $125. And how much was your scooter? Well, your scooter was $160. And who spotted you the extra little bit of money? You. I did. Yes? Because you worked hard for that and went to scans when sometimes we didn't want to. So she earned it. High five. I'm going to go deposit that check into my account because the scooter is already bought and <laughs> paid for out of my money. This check actually took a really long time to come. So, and then let's see who else got money. Chelsea and Abby got their money. So they just get their money. They don't have any debt to owe to mom, right? <laughs> so that's kind of fun, right? And you have at least two more. Should we go look at the list? Let's go look, look at the list. So the company that does these scans, they got kind of delayed on payments during COVID because they were down staff. And, uh, and then ever since then, they've just changed their payment schedule. And what used to take just under two weeks to get paid for the scans now takes four to five. <laughs> It was ridiculous. I just got paid for scans that I did before we went to Hawaii. We went to Hawaii the second week in April. No, the first week in April. It was ridiculous. I'm just barely getting paid for it. So I have you have, three. hang on, let's look. So Ashley has three scans, so she's been paid for two of them now. So she has one more. Which the neck is the most highest amount. <laughs> the ne No, the neck isn't the highest amount paid. Well, it may just be The chest high. is. Yeah. It's probably just 50. But that's money in your pocket. When you get that next check, that's a check you can have. And then Abby has one she just got paid for, so she has one more, and Chelsea had one, and she just got that one. Now, I have, let me think here. Wait, wait, wait. I, you have three. I've just got paid for two of them, and then one I have more. one more. So I have already started my little Hawaii fund with those two that I already got paid for, as well as my first month of YouTube money since we went to Hawaii. And in case you are new here, all of my YouTube proceeds, all the money I earned from you guys watching, I put right into my Hawaii fund. I did just get go to Hawaii. Yes. Yes. And it takes a year to save up. So I put all of my YouTube proceeds into my savings and all of that money goes directly to our next trip. So I'm already starting to save. Feels really nice to start to save already for that. And so my next scan money will go into that. So what are you going to do? You should go outside. Yes. I read a report. Can I see that picture I just took? Let's see. My, my friend, friend just posted this on her Instagram. Here, let me show you. 
So it says spring has been rough. Uh, let's see, Seattle's numbers of hours at or above 70 degrees through May 29th over the past few years. In 2015, there was 77 days of sunshine and 70 up, you know, above 70 degrees. 2016, 144. 17, 85. 107. 103. 85. 80. Last year was 80 days of 70 degrees or above up until the end of May. This year, we've had five. Five. That can't be possible. There's only been five days this current calendar year up until the end no. here of May of sunshine. Five right? days over 70. How is that right? That's insane. When I tell you we've been having like a depressing spring, I, like that's proof. I know, it's been kind of miserable, right? So yeah, I was yeah. out in the sunshine most of my day today. It felt great. And if I weren't all showered up and <laughs> cleaned up and ready for the night, I would might head back out there. Maybe I'll go on a walk with Jason later. I don't know, we'll just kind of see. But it is going to be sunny tomorrow, so I'm gonna go back out and do my walk and hike again. That will mean it'll be seven days. And then there's more rain coming, right? Then, Did you count how many rainy days? Go and count it. And I was gonna tell you something else. I'm editing. Let me go and edit. <laughs> there was something else I was gonna talk to you about. Now I can't remember. All right, we are ending our day playing School King with the little twits over here. <laughs> She's been six tricks on this one. So we're gonna see if she can get them. I bid three, Chelsea did one, and we're on round eight? No. So, yeah, we're on round eight. So oh. the math isn't lining up, so someone's going to lose. <laughs> Might be you. Might be. Time. Mom won. <laughs> I would have if I didn't. If you hadn't played bad. <laughs> she bet, bet six. It was a bad call. You bet six, Ashley. That's amazing. Yeah, on round eight. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, she, bad move. She plays big. She does play big. Was your. Oh, it's really orange. Hang on. You had a good run? Yeah, it's good. You did a long time. I don't know. You did a bigger route. Ooh, I. Did, did, oh, you're having cereal? What are you having? Because I mixed Cheerios with cornflakes. Oh, you don't mix. You should have known. <laughs> you, should, you, you missed the look she just gave me. <laughs> you don't mix them, Jace. Let me go to the garage and get you cornflakes. No, I just don't put, I don't even put my food next to each other. Well, wait, here, look at there's a bag. You can just get straight up cornflakes. That <laughs> saves the day. You messed it up to begin with. You don't combine cereals. You just dump out the crumbs. This is a messy world we live in. It is. Okay. I think we're going to close our night here and say goodnight to you guys. I just want to sit and veg. I am going to sit and edit my sister's wedding video tomorrow. Which actually probably means I need to finish editing today's video really quick. But it's going to be fun to start doing her video. And I have a few little secrets that I've started to work on. And that'll be fun to add. I'm actually going to do two or three videos for her wedding. Um, one video of them as... Like they've given me all these photos of each of them as babies and then of their dating and then they each have kids, five and two. And then so there's pictures of their babies when they were each in different relationships and then them dating and now engaged and getting ready to get married. So that'll be a fun video. And then I'm going to do a second one of their actual wedding to show at the reception the second night. Um, they don't know about. They don't know that I'm gonna do that one. So that one's gonna be fun. And I have some extra tricks up my sleeve for each one of those. So it's gonna be fun to work on that starting tomorrow. And I don't have a car tomorrow. We gotta figure it out. <laughs> I know. We gotta figure it out. Cause so I Abby can't go has, anywhere. No, I know. Abby's gotta get to her PT so we gotta figure this out. Yeah, I know. We have Abby has a PT in the morning, so we'll, we'll, we'll sit down. We're gonna figure it out. But I, ha I might have a lot of time here at home. <laughs> I can't go out and run errands and take care of stuff. So oh, we'll see you guys. You know, what? There's a carpet cleaner in there. You can clean carpet clean. We're gonna see you guys tomorrow. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not cleaning the carpet. Take care. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Places in the world I've been